Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to make cherry blossom with crepe paper to celebrate the arrival of spring. There are many types of cherry blossom in different colors and shapes. I have picked the white five petal cherry blossom for today. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more art and craft tutorials. To make this branch, you will need flower wires, flower tape in light green, dark green and brown colors, a pair of small scissors, a round nose pliers and a wire cutter, hot glue and yoohoo glue, acrylic paints in green and yellow, crepe paper in white and green, some water and a paintbrush, a pair of tweezers, paper clips and our template. First, we need to wrap the 26 gauge thin wire with a light green flower tape. If you only have a darker green, you can also use that instead. Then we need to make a fringe for the middle of each flower. Cut a piece of paper in 1.5 cm height and color the bottom half of the paper in a very light green. I normally mix the green with a bit of yellow so it looks more natural. Set it aside to let it dry. Now we are going to make the fringe. Fold the paper and use a paper clip to hold at the bottom to cut it so the paper is not going anywhere. When you unfold the paper, you might realize you have missed a few spots. Then you can add a few more cuts. Wrap the fringe so they are less regular and save them for later. Now we move on to the petals. Take the white crepe paper in a 2.5 cm height and fold according to the width of the template and use a paper clip to hold everything together. Cut it out. Every time I would cut about 4 petals. For these tiny petals, I highly recommend a pair of small scissors for this project. You can get to more details. If you are interested in our template, the digital templates are already available on our Etsy store. Check the info box for more details. Take your time to prepare the petals. You will need at least a hundred or more. After the cutting, expand the petal in the middle so they are a bit curvy and a bit more 3D. If you are a professionist, you can compare the sizes of the petals and group them accordingly. When you construct them, they will be more neat. Preheat your hot glue. Take the round nose plier to create a tiny loop on the wire to hold the flower. Trim a piece of fringe about 2 cm long and stretch it. Pick your petals and fold on the bottom tip with a tweezer. Use the hot glue to attach the fringe onto the wire and add a tiny drop of glue on the tip of the petal that you just fold. Try to stick the petals as even as possible so the petals are not overlapping. And trim the wire with remaining 5 to 6 centimeters. Now we need to create a flower base. Cut the green paper with the butterfly like template. And cut a hole in the middle for the stem to go through. Mm -hmm. 
and attach it with Yuhu glue. If you think the fringe is too long, you can give it a trim and then add some yellow to the tip of the fringe. Your first flower is done. Keep repeating this process until you have reached at least 20 flowers or more. It will take a few hours, but it is worth it when you see your final outcome. After the flowers, we are going to make a few green leaves. Take a piece of green crepe paper. Fold the paper to the size of the template and hold everything down with a paper clip. Cut in the middle and remember to leave a 2mm gap as a seam line. And cut the shape of the leaves according to the template. Place the template diagonally so the template is not following the grains of the paper. We are trying to mimic the grains of the real leaves. Get a piece of 26 gauge wire and wrap it in dark green or brown flower tape. and place the wire in the middle of two pieces of leaves and stick them together with Yuhu glue. Leave about 6cm of wire as the stem of the leaves and you can cut the remaining off. When you construct the leaves, make sure the grain of the leaves are showing a V shape and the tip is pointing at you which is the bottom. Adjust the shape of the leaves. Do the same with the small leaves. You can choose to wrap the wire first, then place it in the leaves or the opposite. Get the 18 gauge wire and wrap it with a brown tape. It will be the branch. Put 3 to 6 flowers into small bundles I decided to take some tape off the flower stem so the main branch is not going to be too thick Add one to two leaves to the bundle, hold everything together and place it on top of the brown wire. Wrap everything tightly together with some brown tape. Bend the branch a little and keep it aside. This is going to be our main branch. Do the same to the next bundle.
and attach them to a new brown wire. But this time we are going to cut the wire and reattach to the main branch. Using this method, we are going to minimize the thickness of the branch. Repeat this process until you reach your last two bundle. For the last two, you can attach the bundle with the remaining longer wire to thicken the branch. So it gives the branch a little bit more support at the bottom. You can also join a few more branches together and add some more flower bundles to the branch. The white cherry blossom branch is done. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and follow us on our Instagram, where we'll upload more exciting tutorials very soon.